Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. In this tutorial we are going to see how can we program the definable memories D1 to D4 of the Sharp Scientific Calculator ELW516X. These two calculators are uh, exactly the same in terms of functionality and features but Sharp has introduced them as ELW516 and ELW516X. This has just extended version of that one. Uh, so far as, as I have compared these two, the only difference is the shape and style and look of these calculators. So this one looks more like a new gadget, but the functionality of both of these are exactly the same. So I'm going to use the latest model, but they are exactly the same. If you have ELW516, it will be exactly the same feature and functionality as the ELW516X. Okay, the definable memories D1, D2, D3, D4 are one of the great features of the Sharp calculators, which so far Casio is uh, behind. Most of the time, uh, let me turn the calculator on, most of the time we need to uh, use one of the features of the calculator by pressing a sequence uh, of two or three or more buttons to get them. For example, if I want to press uh, display pi, I have to press second function and then I have to press three to get pi. So, okay, so two button involved. This is not that bad. Or if I want to press square root, second function and square so I can get square root but uh, sometimes you don't want that you just want to program one of these buttons to be square root or pi because you're using it a lot uh, so this can be done and also some of sometimes some of the features are extremely complicated and uh, it involves more than two uh, sequence of pressing buttons for example if I want to press 25 milli uh, I want to print on the screen 25 milli so 25, then I have to press math, I have to press 3, I have to press 4 until I get 25M, which refers to melee. So these buttons can be programmed to do the job and makes our life easy. Let's go and do it. I'm going to uh, program D1 button to be um, uh, melee and D2 micro. As you're aware, in chemistry and physics and uh, in calculus or some other subjects of science you we are dealing with units so let's assume that in one of the chapters that you are using um, you're studying you need to use a lot of million micro especially in chemistry or uh, let's say you're using a lot of kilometer and meter uh, in physics so in all the units converting them putting them in the right units uh, is uh, a little sensitive and uh, we we will make a lot of mistakes but this calculator makes our life easy so let's program this one milli and micro and then on the next step I'm gonna do this two buttons to be uh, meter and kilometers uh, okay okay kilometers and um, some other units okay so for the for milli I have to I'm, I have to press uh, the store button as you can see alpha is on the screen I press store and I press D1 now D1 button is ready to accept any function uh, from the calculator so I, I want to press milli for milli I press math so number 3 engineering I press 3 and then 4M which is milli so done D1 now works as milli let's uh, press it so it press milli if i press 25 and d1 25 milli i'm gonna program this one as uh, micro so store d2 now i'm going to select the function let's say math 3 and 5 which is micro so store this is now micro if i press 14 micro if I want to press just, just by pressing D1 it, it's, it's very good let's say I want to pr program this one as uh, pi so store 
d3 and then pi involves second function and uh, button 3 so now this is pi anytime I press it uh, so let's uh, make this one kilo mm, store d4 math number 3 for engineering and for kilo 0 so now if I want to type 25 kilo so here is 25 kilo done which is 25,000 and it, and then all the values can be used within the calculation this was a tutorial from equator.com i hope you have enjoyed it